Okay then, hello everybody, welcome back to Team Prawn Racing. So, the car is up in the air, on blocks. I don't know what you've seen already, probably nothing so far, because I kind of shelved my first plan. But, today is the day I dig out this huge pile of alley from in the ceiling in the garage. Feels really light in here now without alley stacked up high. We're gonna try and start making a flat floor. <laughs> Flashback. Welcome back to Team Prawn Racing. I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got a carbon fibre diffuser. Right, so what is this lovely backdrop? Where did it come from? This is an original factory carbon diffuser from a Radical SR3. Now, I'm not going to tell you exactly where this came from. If you're watching this, you know. Thank you very, very much. It's slightly damaged, but it just wasn't worth putting in the bin, this one. This is going to find its way onto the A3. I've done a bit of offering up, I'm going to show you that now. We might end up modifying it quite a bit, which is slightly scary, but it's actually, it's got a reasonable amount of damage and these are paper thin. As soon as I have an off with these, they just take them off and bin them and put a brand new one on. So I don't feel too bad cutting it up, but this is extremely cool. I'm going to offer it up, show you why we can't use it exactly as it is, and then we'll see if we can make it work. So here you go, the very first offer up. Obviously we've recently done our central exhaust. That is in hole, exactly as it is. It might work, it might not, I really don't know. I don't like how big and flappy this is on the side. I don't think from this angle that suits the shape of the car at all. From a lower profile, the whole idea of a diffuser generally though, is awesome. The other thing to consider, and it is a big one, is clearance to the beam in here. Can you see, I'll zoom in, can you see how close that is on the beam there? That is not going to come up any higher, so that won't allow any suspension droop. And I'm fairly sure, if I come round here, it's the same score here. So that isn't going to work. Four to six weeks later. So, um, I'm going to cut in time here. The radical diffuser, it just didn't work out. I cut it, I split it. The tunnels just look too small then next to the exhaust. So that idea is scrap in the bin. Let's get on with the flat floor. So what have we actually got here? I think these two are fairly self-explanatory. These are hopefully going to form the basis of a diffuser. But coming over here, I've had these bits for a couple of years already. These are the two sections that I hope will become parts of our flat floor and then this is a bunch of associated bracketry that I measured up for about two years ago. The rubbish on the wind. I measured up for this stuff about two years ago so I'm going to see if I can work out what of this goes where on there to try and form some sort of flat floor. Right this is not actually the easiest thing to film because it's all under the car, it's all awkward, it's all a pain in the ass. I'm going to flip the camera, show you what I've got so far. We've got a bit of a framework on the go. I'll show you that and then we'll move on to trying to put the floors on. Well, if I told you this represents six hours work, you'd almost certainly think I was lying. I'm going to use this selfie stick as a pointer. So we've got a Z on the back of the splitter. That is a Z profile, 12 mil thick, the same as a splitter. So that is then flush. The floor will lap on top of that and bolt through it. We've then got another Z slightly deeper on the subframe where the subframe's a different height, holding our channels, our rails. So these are the rails. We've got an intermediate here, which is attached to the center exhaust mount. And we've got another intermediate here, which is on little tabs hung down off the beam, profiled over the fuel tank, over the exhaust, over everything. All of that framework is flat and level. And that is, as you can see there, ties in with the bottom of the skirt support. We've got a 20 mil rake front to back over the whole car. That is the basis of our floor. And this is our first uh, test piece of floor pan to go on. So I'm gonna get a full size piece of floor pan in here and see if it works. A few moments later. Well, here we have part one, super flat floor. I've currently left it long, so it actually comes right out of the back. I mean, you could almost bend this up and I'll go into one flat floor section that is in let me bring you to the front 
So if you look under here, it's actually cut in really nicely around our jacking point. And what I'm about to do is come in here and mark up where I'm going to trim it in here. And then we'll fold a lip on that and we'll uh, close things off there as well. So essentially, I've taken this angle and I've marked the line of the inside of the arch. So I want an upstand there to stop air going in here under the floor. So I'm going to take that off. We're going to cut a line there and try and fold some sort of upstand. Right, I'm doing a lot of cracking on here and not a huge amount of filming, but second floor pan is done. First one is basically done, second one nearly done. So I've just marked this up. So we're going to cut, cut along this line and fold it up using our custom folding tool. Fold it up and we will form what looks like the first one. Looks a bit like that. Right, the other side's done. That is now done after quite a bit of work. So that is cut and carved in around the seam, riveted on, nice flat bottom, closed off so the top of the floor isn't going to see loads of hot air and pry pressure from the wheel well. So this is an extremely time consuming process. I've actually just cracked on. I haven't filmed a ton of it, but the flat floor is basically done. I'm about to whip it off and get ready for paint and then it'll be going on for the final time. We're going to move on to a diffuser, but you're going to see that next week. So I'll spin the camera, show you the floor. Here we go, one flat floor in its entirety. It is completely flat from the splitter all the way back to the edge of the beam. Now let me come to the front and I'll show you how we finish that off as well. Right, bit tricky to see. Bit tricky to see because I've already got the wheel back on, but raised edge there closes that off so air shouldn't be going between the floor and the flat floor. And there you go, smooth. Front to back, jacking points incorporated there. Really happy with how that's all come out. So I've got a couple more fixing holes to drill, then I'm gonna whip all of that lot off, sand it down and get it painted. I know it doesn't need to be painted, but when I look under the car, I want it all to be one uniform color, just to get the full effect of the full flat floor. Right, you join me in the garden. Um, this is quite unusual. If your name's Adam Ellis, then I'm genuinely sorry cracked on I just got so into it I completely forgot to film anything but guess what I built a diffuser does it look like a diffuser it probably doesn't at the moment this is a diffuser though I'm already halfway through painting it I forgot to show you so I'm gonna crack on and finish that I'm gonna tag this onto the end of the floor video and I'm gonna show you all of this once it's on the car then I'll explain a little more Right, you know what? That's probably enough for this one. I am in a bigger mess here than I thought possible. You've seen the floor on the car. You've seen the diffuser off the car. You're gonna to have to tune in next week for the big reveal where I'm gonna get all of this fitted onto the car, get it down on the ground, get it outside, and we're gonna see how it looks. I think it's gonna look pretty wild. Um, I know it's not the height of fabrication. I am a man in a garage with no ability to weld aluminium. So all of this is cut, joint, riveted, whatever I can do with the tools I've got available. Please do bear that in mind. That's enough rambling from me. Tell you what, I've actually weighed all of these parts. Press pause, drop us a comment down below. How much weight have we added? You can do separate if you like. What does the floor weigh? What does the diffuser weigh? I already know the answer but press pause, drop us a comment, and next week I'll let you know if you're right. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hope you guys are like this one. I really hope this works out well when I get it all finally on the car next week. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have fun. See you in the next one. Cheers, guys.